This is a CBS 4 News update. I'm Jim Barry. Police are still investigating if a man will face any charges after reportedly opening fire on the man who's tried to steal his vehicle. This happened at a car wash in Miami Beach yesterday. Following the shooting, the accused car thief crashed into the wall of a business near Alton Road and 18th Street. The attorney for Stephen Lott says his client was trying to defend himself when he fired his gun. It's straight up self-defense where, you know, somebody's trying to run you over with a vehicle. And listen, a vehicle is a weapon. The person who's passed was, was committing a felony and uh, my client was simply defending himself and was, was protecting his own life. The suspect was taken to the hospital where he later died. Police have not released his name. Ten months after the deadly shooting in Parkland, the final report from a federal commission on school safety has been released. The report includes 93 recommendations, which include better access to mental health services for children, adding more armed staff, and building more barriers at schools. It does not encourage schools to arm teachers or reducing access to guns. If you'd like to read the entire report, we've posted it on our website at cbsmiami.com. Well, tributes are pouring in for legendary actress, producer, and director Penny Marshall. In fact, a wreath of white roses was placed at her star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Marshall died Monday night at her home, not far from there. She had suffered complications from diabetes. Penny Marshall burst into the Hollywood scene in the 1970s as Laverne DeFazio, one half of the now legendary Laverne and Shirley duo. She later made the move into filmmaking and is perhaps most remembered for the blockbuster Big, starring Tom Hanks. Marshall would direct Awakening, starring Robert De Niro and Robin Williams, and then team up with Hanks again for A League of Their Own. She was 75 years old. Now, CBS 4 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer. Our weather looks increasingly stormy as we head into Thursday. The moisture for the storm, strong storms is just to our southwest. By Thursday, it's right over central and south Florida. We'll see passing storms off and on during the day, but the best bet for any strong, persistent storms will be Thursday evening. Then Friday, windy with showers across the area. Very, very windy Thursday through Friday, the weekend right now. Saturday looking great, Sunday looking great, Monday looking great. In fact, even into Tuesday, it's looking very, very nice. The next chance for rain coming the middle of next week. So once we get through the next 48 hours, things improve nicely. Forecast looks like this. Strong gusty storms. Some could be severe Thursday and Thursday night. Friday, winter officially starts and winter is going to come in with a howl as the winds will be very, very strong. The winds drop off over the weekend. Sunshine and comfortable temperatures. Jim. Thank you, Craig. That's our news for now. You can always find us on CBSMemory.com and tune in to CBS 4 News at 5, 6, 7 and 11 for all of today's important headlines.